The differences between copyrights, patents, and trademarks can be a little bit confusing, but I'm here to clear up any misunderstandings you may have. So make sure to stay till the end because I'm going to cover all three and hopefully you will be clear. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Intellectual property can confuse people because it sounds like a subject matter that can only be understood by a few select people like intellectual property lawyers. Being that I'm a trademark lawyer, I can tell you that a trademark will protect a name, a logo, a slogan, a tagline, and even a sound. Now, if you're somebody who's looking to DIY the process and you want a little bit of help, make sure to check out the link down in the description below. Now, a patent is something that can also be easily understood. A patent helps protect inventions. So for example, when the telephone was invented, that could have been protected by patent. There are millions of inventions out there. So if you're somebody who's invented something really cool and you want to protect it, then you would be seeking protection by patent. Now there are three different types of patents. There are utility patents, design patents, and plant patents. Believe it or not, when you mix different species of plants, you can obtain what's called a plant patent. Now, most people are usually looking for a utility or a design patent because they've invented something super, super cool. In this day and age, people invent all sorts of things. If you ever watch the show Shark Tank, they will ask, is this protected by a patent? Most of the time it will be a utility or a design patent, as I already explained. You can also obtain a provisional patent. But this video is not meant to just talk to you about patents and explain the different types of patents to you. I want to explain the differences between each of the different intellectual property areas so that there's less confusion in your mind about how each of these actually works. So you trademark a name, patent an invention, and copyright the rest. That's usually what I say, and it's a post that I've created on my social media accounts, Arts Music Lawyer, if you want to go and follow me on Instagram, because it's easy to remember. Copyright is maybe what's a little bit more difficult for some people to understand because it doesn't involve something fixed. It doesn't involve something tangible like an invention. So if you're somebody who has written a new song and you wanna make sure that those lyrics are protected and that you could actually sue somebody and collect damages, then you would protect those lyrics with a copyright. Now I say protect it with a copyright registration because I want something to be very clear here. Whenever you write your lyrics down and they're actually on paper and whenever you paint that painting and it's already on its canvas, you already have a copyright in that work. But if you wanted to sue somebody in the event that they stole that piece of artwork or that they stole those lyrics, you would best be off with the copyright registration. If you want to collect damages, then you should be protecting your works with a registration at the copyright office and you can go to copyright.gov and there you can find more information about a registration or you can contact yours truly by scrolling down into the description below and we can help you obtain a copyright registration. So what is protectable by copyright? Well, you can protect artwork, photographs, lyrics, songs. What can you not protect? Well, you're not going to protect your business name. You're not going to protect your slogan and you're also not going to protect your domain name. So domain names are not protectable by copyright. And this can be confusing for some people because they think that they can protect their business name with a copyright, but that is not the case. Now, when it comes to protecting your website with a copyright, you can protect the contents within the website. So if it's anything that I already mentioned, such as photographs, artwork, anything that is already protectable by copyright, then you can protect those things that are within the website. Recipes are also not protectable by copyright and they're not protectable by trademark or by patents. Sorry guys. Now if you need help determining what exactly is protectable within your business or on your website, you don't know if you need to have a trademark or a copyright, then make sure you contact me. My information is down in the description below and I'd be more than happy to assess your situation, assess your issues and point you in the right direction or register whatever needs to be registered. Now before you click off, you need to continue to watch this video right here where I explain trademark infringement. So now that you have a little bit of an understanding about the differences between trademarks, copyrights, and patents, you don't wanna miss out on what it means to infringe on someone else's trademark, copyright, or patent. Watch this video to continue learning about all things IP.